Thank you, SMS. I have three questions. <coughs> now, the first question is, um, during this interim period where the equipment fault is being investigated, are there any safeguards being put in place to prevent recurrences uh, of equipment failure? The second question is, uh, was there any link to consumer behaviour, especially extensive use of uh, air conditioner you know, uh, by resident, residential households? Uh, due to hot weather, for example. So is there any link of the disruption to this con consumer behaviour? Uh, and the third question is, is the grid resilient enough uh, to meet changing consumer behaviour because of climate change and other trends? Uh, Mr Speaker, I think before the investigation are concluded, I think it would not be wise to knee-jerk and impose more demands on the system unnecessarily. Suffice to say that we have enough spare capacity in the number of generators that we have to meet consumer demand. And certainly the trip on that night was not due to excessive consumer demand, but due to equipment fault. And I think with the OEMs now looking at the equipment, with the equipment being sent for overseas testing, let's give it some time for things to settle. Nonetheless, EMA is exploring and also looking at it with all the GENCOs to see how we can strengthen our processes and our SOPs when necessary.